Okay, boys, when it comes to the Fortnite map, there's one thing that you need to know that will literally change every single thing about Fortnite for you. And this will make you a much better player. And it's this fundamental right here. You need to land at the shittest spot on the map and make it the best spot. And let me just show you why this works. So what we're actually going to do is just cross out every single good POI. So look at that, right? Coney crops, gone. That's a good POI. It's pretty stacked. Pleasant Park, definitely stacked. Let's get rid of it. Bony Burbs, definitely stacked. Uh, Sludgy Swamp, we'll leave for now. Lazy Lake, get rid of that. Retail Rose, sometimes contested. We'll literally just get rid of every single POI, right? And you're going to be saying to yourself, well, like, look, what's wrong here, okay? Like, like, why am I doing this? You'll see in a minute. And this will make a lot of sense to you in a very quick second. I've done this before, but I know we've gotten a lot of new members here on the channel, a lot of new subs. And if you are new, make sure you're subscribing if you like this type of content, because I do stuff like this all the time, bro. I upload literally every single day. And I stream every other day. So you'll definitely enjoy a video like this if you're enjoying this one. So look, look at what we have now, right? Let me, let me put red boxes around everything just so it stands out a bit more if it's not already standing out to you. What this does is it creates what's known as a pathway between every single POI. So you, you'll see me link everything together. Now, this is what I do all the time, okay, boys? Literally all the time. This is how I decide if a drop spot is good or if it's bad. And um, this is like, it's just a fundamental. I recommend you doing this with your trio or if you're doing this by yourself, go for it, man. It will, it will make a big difference, okay? And by the way, the website I'm using, if you're not familiar with it, is fortnite.gg. And look, we're almost, we're almost doing what I'm doing right now, okay? So we've got everything marked off. Now, they're the spots not to land at. Weeping Woods, we'll throw that in as well because that's a shithole. I'm not messing. It, 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 if you get caught in Weeping Woods mid-game, your game is done. Your, your tournament is scuffed. Coral Castle, I don't feel like it gets contested. We'll, we'll leave it for now. Same way up here at Stealthy Stronghold. See, now look, I could be completely wrong, like marking out like Weeping Woods, but I know it's contested. You know Sludgy Swamp is going to get contested. And the way you do this, okay, you understand it's going to be contested by going like this. I have 10 games to play in the tournament. So 10 games. Will Sludgy Swamp get contested the majority of those games? So will Sludgy Swamp get contested five or more of those games? Because, you know, halfway through a tournament, if five of your tournament games, you're getting scuffed. That's not good for you. You want to lower that so it's like maybe two or three of your tournament games that get scuffed. And then obviously you're going to have a separate drop spot. You're going to have one of these red drop spots as your W key drop spot. That's real important. So when you're W key and you want to pick up as many kills as possible, so you want to pick one of these red drop spots. But when we're looking at it for a placement, okay, for placement, you need to understand that there's pathways between every single drop spot right now. Watch this. Let's say, let me, let me pick a drop spot. Like literally, I don't even know where, where to pick because I haven't thought about this. I've literally just sat down and decided, let me record and this is what I'm doing. We're going to pick somewhere that most people know. For example, this weather station right here. This is a pretty popular drop spot, especially in trios. I don't understand how a full trio can land here. I, I don't recommend it, but... If that's what you do that's what you do look at the pathways you've now created like literally look at this if you know about like if you know all these places around you are going to be contested look at the gaps so if, if zone let me just do an example of zone so let's say zone pulls something like this again like it, it's not a spot on circle i think it's it's a decent job it's not perfect but nothing is perfect in this world apparently um look at the look at the pathway you have right here diagonal dead side like that just a straight run Okay, even if you wanted to pull off and go around the mountains, less contested. You can just use this as a guide. If you wanted to, if zone, let's say, just pulled somewhere else. So I'm going to just draw a, a pink circle right now. Let's say zone pulls somewhere up, up here. Okay, now is this what I'm doing exactly like 100%? Is there not going to be anybody on this path? There probably will be. I'm not guaranteeing that. But what I'm telling you is by going this way, you're not going directly into sludgy swamp. So you're guaranteed not to come across sludgy swamp kids. And you're guaranteed not to get into a fight in Misty because you're not going to those POIs. Now, if Sludgy Swamp Kids decide to rotate up towards you, that's unfortunate. You get me? That's just unfortunate. But what you're doing is minimizing the chance that you get into a fight by going that way. That's all it's about is minimizing a potential fight, especially when you're playing placement. Looking at, at purple up here, okay? Imagine this is another type of zone and you're landing down here. There's multiple ways you can pull it. Okay, you can literally leave here, use the pad or whatever, and you're going to land roughly around here. You can decide, do I want to pull into the dead center in the middle of the map and wrap around? Do I want to use, actually, do I want to use this creek and go all the way up the top of the map and come around here? Because that's doable. Going up that, that little shitty creek is fully doable. Do I actually want to go left? And then when you're met, met with a decision here to go this way or to go this way, what do you do? 
doesn't matter. They're all minimizing the potential chance for you to get into a fight. And that's all it's about. There's no real right or wrong answer. It's just about what way will I go to avoid getting third partied. So I would not rotate during, through this way right here. Okay, I think that's pretty obvious. You look at your options and be like, okay, if I'm here and I can go left up here, or I can go right and around or right and around, they all stem from these two decisions. If I go right, I'm going in between corny crops and bony burbs. And you just use your general game sense. Corny complex is a stacked POI. Bony burbs, not so much, but you have pleasant park kids that are probably going to rotate down as well. So you make a decision of, do I want to get trapped dead center middle of the map? Hell no. So you rotate left. And you can see all of the gaps just appear. So let me just undo everything. And I'll do it from a completely different POI. And this is how you get good loot in Fortnite, by the way. Is by minimizing the people you're fighting, okay? You can get great loot by, you know, landing and killing someone, taking their loot and getting really good loot. But again, that means every fight that you take is a potential death. Now, I understand you need to fight, man. I'm not telling you not to fight. I'm just telling you, make sure you're picking smart fights. Is it much smarter to fight somebody right here on the on the map versus over here on the map right here? You get me? That, that's a decision you make. Do you go with option number two or do you go with option number one? I'm pretty sure most of us know which option. And if you don't, it's option number one. Reason being, it's on dead side of the map over here. Okay? It means nobody's going to attack you from this side because it's 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 the river, bro. It's it's the river. That's trying. That's me trying to draw waves, bro. The river. Okay, nobody's coming at you from this side. Here, though, a team can rotate in like that. Just They can rotate out of corny. That's the obvious one. They can rotate up from lazy. They can rotate from where you're going if you didn't land there that game. You know, I'm just bony. Look at all those potential. Like, literally, anyone can kill you, bro. Literally. I know you could say that's the same thing over on the left side of the map. But the thing is, the left side of the map and the right side of the map, the top side of the map, the bottom side of the map is all dead side. It's less contested on the edge of the map than the dead center because people tend to just rotate towards the center. It's just the way the brain works. Go towards the center because you've got better chance for zone. Whatever it is, I don't know. That's not important. Why is not important? It's just the fact that it is. That's what you need to understand. So, I don't know what more I have to say. I've been recording for eight minutes. I feel like this is a banging video. It's very simple. It doesn't take a long time. I'm sorry for no gameplay, but I just needed to show that to a lot of people because I've been getting questions like that on stream and stuff and a lot of DMs from you boys asking for how do I find a good drop spot. This is literally the answer right here. With that said, the video on screen is a, well, not even a video, bro. The playlist on screen is a full playlist to a POI breakdown series where I do this, but I actually go like fully zoomed in and analyze the drop spot, like literally pick apart corny or whatever. So if you want to go watch that, definitely go for it. With that said, this video is over.